All right, we've come to the USA to meet a Frenchman to talk about his German bike. This is Remy Metallier's Propane Tai. All right, so this is the all new Propane Tai, just recently released. This is the CF carbon fiber version. Uh, it's a mixed wheel size bike, it's a 29 up front, 27.5 rear, 160 mil of travel with a 174. Remy is running DVO suspension, so we've got the Onyx D1 fork up front and the Topaz air shock on the rear. Got a nice mud hugger front uh, mud guard on there as well, although it's pretty dusty out here at the moment. Hayes Dominion brakes, 203 rotors front and rear. If you've seen Remy ride, you know he rides some super steep trails. And I've just ridden the bike along the bike path to get here. You won't believe how powerful these brakes are. To the wheels, these are the E13 LG1R wheels with the carbon rims, double down maxi tires front and rear, so the DHR on the rear and an Asagai up front. Uh, it's definitely not your normal trail bike, this bike. Check out the cassette, it's actually quite a lot smaller than a lot of cassettes you see nowadays. So this is the E13 LXR, 12 speed, 945, so you get to run a smaller chain ring. Uh, up front, it's actually an oval rotor chainring, 30 teeth, as, as well as the rotor Capic cranks. Also, the Shimano Dior XT uh, rear mech actually looks like sh quite a short cage compared to normal. Uh, KMC 12 speed chain, got some more European stuff up front. Definitely not your normal bike. We see a lot of SRAM and Shimano on bikes, but we've got rotor, the Spanish manufacturer cranks, and also time special pedals. E13 top guide. Uh, you can see some nice little touches this bike. It's got the headset cable route in. You see the cable pops out. Super neat and actually goes back into the chainstay over to the rear mech. One up seat post. Uh, this is the 180 shim down to 170 for Remy. And Ergon finishing parts got the SM Enduro Pro titanium saddle and the GE1 grips. Got a one up bar and stem, carbon bar actually, that is 745 millimeters wide, 35 mil rise, and a 35 mil stem. Roll is almost directly up, slightly back, I'd say. Topic bottle cage with that ninja tool below there. I think that one's pre production, so I've not seen that one before. Right, Remy, you're a, a French man living in Squamish, and we see you like to ride some super gnarly steep trails. This is your new bike and I hear you had uh, some work designing it as well. Yeah, so it's been really cool working with Propane. I joined the brand in 2021 and they had the previous platform of the Tai, which is a bike I, I rode the most. And even though I really enjoyed it, I had some feedback. And what was cool with Propane is that they are really asking for this feedback to always improve the product. And so I gave them, you know, what I thought would be best for my riding and for this bike, but also for, for you know, other customers out there. And it's pretty cool to see that, you know, they really listen and they made me kind of my dream bike, so. And it's amazing what you can do these days. Like, you know, a few years ago, you'd, you kind of want to do that style of ride on a downhill bike, but this is a trail bike that you can, or enduro bike, whatever it is, but you can pedal this bike. It's not just for doing the kind of riding you do. Obviously, I've, I, like I said, I've ridden it. It's got crazy powerful brakes. And I've, I've done a bike check with you and Borelli in the past. There's something about you guys, they like your levers. So is that because you ride steep trails, but they're, they're quite flat on the bar? Yeah, so obviously it's set up for, you know, more steep and more gnarly terrain. But for me, it started with, I was struggling with arm pumps. And the first thing you want to do when you struggle with arm pump or wrist pain is to, you know, play with a, Obviously, suspension settings, tire pressure, but most importantly, cockpit brake setup. You know, I've played around with every single setup you can think of, and this is what works best for me. Uh, I feel that allows me to keep my my elbows out, relax more. I don't have to hold on the bar nearly as much. It performs best when it's steep and gnarly. Obviously, on flatter terrains, that kind of puts you in a position that might not be optimal, but it's not really where I want my riding to shine. Yeah, like sure. I want it to be as best as possible when it gets super steep and gnarly. So this setup works works really well for, for me. And if you look at Johan, we ride the same stuff. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense. Yeah, we right. have similar setup. And you're from the same part of the world. We drink the same water, <laughs> so. What about tires? You got double downs, what sort of pressures, inserts? Yeah, so no inserts. Uh, I'm light enough that I don't feel the need to have inserts. So double down casing, 3C grip, uh, normally I run 
20 psi on the front, 22 psi on the back. For the type of terrain where, of what we are doing here, rocks are sharper, it's a bit flatter, you don't need as much as much grip, so I usually bump it up a little bit, but my overall is 20, 22. What size frame are you using? So that's a medium sized frame. Uh, in terms of reach, with that setup, a 170 fork, you got 450 millimeter, pair with a 35 millimeter stem, and I'm five feet seven. So for me, that's, that's what I would want uh, for someone my size doing the type of riding I do. So it's not super long like some other brands. Uh, and then basically the geometry goes up 20 millimeter gap per size. Uh, flip chip, you've got that actually on high. Is that just for clearance? No, so that frame is either a 29 frame or a mullet frame. If you run it as a 29, usually you'll have it on the low settings, but because I run it as a mullet, I have it on high settings. Why do you particularly like the mullet setup? I feel like whenever you ride aggressive terrain, that just gives me more space to move, especially uh, with my butt not hitting the tire, so I can squat lower, I can keep the bike on the ground. The bike is more playful, but for me that was not really why I look for a mullet. It's more the capacity to fully squat on the bike and being able to push the bike on the compression to slow down more efficiently and, uh, and just the ability of the bike to ride steeper terrain. Are you a sort of guy where you just set the bike up, you set your pressure and you fork shock and you leave it? Or are you, are you tweaking things all the time? That's a good question. No, I constantly tweak it. This is a, you know, the setup that for me works basically everywhere, what you, what you just wrote. Um, but I do, depending, when I push my limits, I, I usually carry a shock pump and that's why I like the air shock. It's just very easy on the go to add 10 PSI and, you know, makes the bike perfect for, for a certain situation. Amazing. More Europeans, we've got Annika Burton riding past us. Anyway, thanks for your time, Remy. Uh, love looking at your bike and uh, yeah, can't wait to see you ride it. Thanks a lot.